So here, my name is my name's Cordy, and uh, I'm single. If you're single, and if you're watching, here, probably I could be your guy. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 cut it, cut it. I don't like it. <laughs> Hi, my name is Cordy, and uh, you can also call me Cody. And that's how you pronounce it in Chinese. And if you pronounce like that, I will be really appreciated. And I was born in China, and I'm 20 years old. I was born on August 22nd, 1995, and uh, I was born in a small city called Zhengzhou. Well, it's not a small city, it's the capital city in my province, but probably you guys just don't know it, because I think normally you guys only know Beijing or Shanghai, and actually it's kind of normal. It's like I only know New York and Washington before I come here. Yeah, anyway, on 2013, I came here in Oregon, I began to study my bachelor's degree, in the Oregon State University. It's three years and uh, I have learned a lot from like everything, like from my friends and uh, from my the American culture, like everything, yeah. I think being an international student, I just really afraid of racist, do you know racist? And, uh, but I don't feel any racist right here. So I am kind of happy. And I feel, I, I feel Americans, they are really helpful and a friend, a friendly. Here's my guitar. I know how to play guitar. And also something about guitar. My trash can is really helpful. I know. And uh, something really amazing. Oh, it's not on right now, but I don't care. And microphone. Sometimes I sing, I practice. I practice for karaoke. And it's, that's my lovely bed. I spent like a hot day on my summer break. Right here, that's my desktop, my eating wear, my keyboard, and my monitor. Well, I, I normally game, game, gaming right here, but sometimes I study. And uh, also if I gotta do my program, cause I am learning computer, computer science. So I also code right here. Yeah, and uh, my bathroom. I also like oh, normally spend half hour right here. You know, just poop. <laughs> what? <laughs> really? You want to share that with the whole world? No. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Cut it, cut it. <laughs> so the hardest thing for me that are coming to the America, I think they have two part language and culture. But actually language is the hardest thing for, uh, only for me. Because I don't think culture is really hard since I love American culture. Probably if you ask me why, I would say I love pizza or hamburger. <laughs> yeah, and also Turkey. Yeah, Turkey is a good thing. Language, I spent three years here and I still cannot speak English well, very well. But culture, I think I'm really addicted to American culture. I like it. I know I know Corvallis is a small town and uh, people always complain, like, no, everybody but like some young people they always complain oh it's kind of small oh my god it's, the market is kind of far i know they will they will prefer the big city like san francisco or los angeles but i feel kovat is really fit for me i love the weather here i love the people here i made a lot of friends right here like jeremiah jimmy joe they are my first couple of friends that i made right here so I desire I will have a wife someday in the future because um, I feel kind of tired be alone and uh, if someone can if someone can go with me or go alone with me on my rest of my life on the rest of my, my, my life I would be really appreciated I feel my father didn't treat my mom well so I don't want to do that. I will do like something opposite. Yeah, that's what I've learned from my family. I know it's kind of weird, but that's true. My, my mom, she didn't give more freedom to my father because she's, she's better. She, she always do everything, like almost everything better than my, than my, than my dad. And then they just, 
argue to each other. And I also want to treat my wife well. Because uh, my father, they o he always argued to my, to my mom sometimes. You know? So I really want to treat my, my wife well. well. Yeah, I want, I want her happy. So this is Bowen, my first Chinese friend that I met right here. And uh, he's from Shandong, another province. And uh, so he's my best friend right here. Yeah, we always help each other. Like normally when we have, we, when we gotta eat dinner and uh, Bowen always pay for that. <laughs> He's a really good boy. My dream is is creating something that will that will help humanity and uh, simplify their lives. And I already have a really amazing and cool idea, but actually it's my secret. So you will, you probably will, will have find out in the future. So I don't I, I don't know what affected me when I was when I was young, but I really want to be a man that. Uh, that will be really helpful to the society. I mean, I, I, I want to do something for the society. And I want to be a great man. So I'm an electrical engineering student in Oregon State University. This major in, or in, my, in my school is really good in the world, actually. So those things, I think that's, I think that's will be really helpful for my, for my dream. Right now, what I'm, lear I'm learning is really helpful. I feel my dream is like a puzzle and those are the pieces to solve the puzzle. See, it's kind of, it's kind of magic it's pieces for the puzzle. It will help human, humanity in the future. Probably you don't believe it, but uh, yeah, that's my dream. Here's my plan. After graduating from the Oregon State University, and I will go to get my master degree. And after that, I would go to a big company like Intel or, or Nvidia, and then be a leader of a small group or a small team and get well-funded to invent what I want to in my mind, probably that will change the world. And uh, some, somewhere along the way, along the way, find my wife and um, create my family. I think I feel my life is like the blazing and gorgeous firework. So I think people will remember me, of course. Although I don't remember, I, I, I don't wish they can remember me.